What's happening? I'm N64 Josh, and let's talk about Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on the Switch. I had a few comments from my last video saying, hey, what do you think? Well, I think it's pretty all right. For $40, you're getting a really decent arcade racer that, uh, I don't know, there's just something about the Need for Speed series that I'm glad to be I'm glad to be racing again, honestly. I, I've i put a handful of hours into this game already, which I, for those of you that know me, I typically like preview a game and that's about it. But this one, I keep playing. And then right after I got finished recording this footage, my daughter knocked on my door and was like, hey, can you steal that Need for Speed game. It was pretty fun. One of the things she just enjoys doing is the free roam where you can just drive around the world. And it looks pretty great. And let's talk about that. You go from, from rainy, dark and stormy you got to turn your headlights on like she didn't she didn't know how to turn her headlights on and she was like uh it's so dark i can't even see the track she turned them on and she was fine the lighting in this game is kind of amazing i love going into a tunnel with the cops chasing me and you can see their lights just lighting up the hole i almost got a little bit of anxiety honestly as i was racing i was like that's like getting a ticket you know so it, they do a really, really good job. The cars feel heavy. They, the, the sound design is really good. There's so many things that are done right with this game. My biggest complaint, if I have any, is with the, the pro controller. I, I'm really missing analog triggers, to be perfectly honest. I miss just that feel that you get with like the Xbox controller when you're playing Forza because it just it makes you feel like you're a little more in control rather than just a a on off when you're when you're racing. And this isn't the first game that I've run into issues with the lack of a lack of the analog for being able to control your acceleration. It still controls well. You just got to make sure you're using your brakes and, and letting off the gas, kind of pumping the gas a little bit. This is a solid game. It is a solid game. So far, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to go and say this is my final review because I want to put some more time into it. But as of right now, this game is sitting at a at a solid eight, eight and a half for me. I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. And uh, I can't wait to jump back in. So if you got any questions or comments, let me know down below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next video.